At this time of day, this four-year-old child should be in school. Instead, he is roaming the streets of Bhim Nagar, an informal settlement in suburban Mumbai, in a desperate search for water. Seeing young children lift heavy containers full of water is not a common occurrence for most, but it's a scene Jaymati witnesses often. बच्चे जो यहाँ के बच्चे वो पानी के लिए पांच लीटर का डब्बा लेके जाते हैं। कभी-कभी ऐसे होता है रोड के बीच में, रोड के बीच में जो पाइपलाइन रहता है, उसको भी खोल के एक छोटे डब्बे अंदर डाल के पानी उसमें से निकाल के भर के लाते हैं। और माँबाप भी कई दिन ऐसे समय आ जाता है माँबाप के पास बेटा आज स्कूल मत जा आज पानी बिल्कुल नहीं है तो पानी भर ले क्योंकि माँबाप का जो है कोई गटर का काम करता है कोई ड्राइविंग काम करता है कोई जो घर में काम करने हो वो भी जाते हैं काम लेकिन इफेक्ट ये पड़ रहा है कि बच्चे का जो भविष्य है ना वो पूरा इस पानी के चक्कर में नाश हो रहा A painter and social worker, 50-year-old Jaymati lives in Siddharth Nagar, one of the informal slums amongst close to 200 others that dot the narrow bylanes of Mumbai. Shanties like these date back to the 1950s and are usually home to people from the service sector. Drivers, office clerks, domestic workers and sweepers who have been excluded from the city's development initiatives. So much so that today in 2021, 32-year-old homemaker Ismutara Khatun, along with close to 2 million residents like her, have no formal access to water. An average day for Ismutara would begin at 4 a.m. when she would have to walk to a nearby chawl in the hope for a few minutes at a tap pulled by its residents. Meager water supply meant she was at the mercy of a neighbor's whims despite paying them a monthly rent of about 300 rupees. When I was taking water, I didn't have two liters of water. I would take 10 liters of water. Sometimes I would take 20 liters of water in my hand. I would take 10 liters of water in my hand. I would take 10 liters of water in my hand. I would take 4 or 5 liters of water. Now, Jay Mati is living in Siddharth Nagar, one of the informal settlements in Mumbai. Settlements in areas like Gorigao's Ari Colony, where Ismutara lives, get about 15 litres per capita per day. According to reports, an average household in an affluent South Mumbai neighbourhood is entitled to about 300 litres per capita per day. In one day, I'm done. I'm done with water, but I'm done with water. I'm done with water every day. Fatigue is only the tip of the iceberg for parched families living in these slum communities. The lack of water makes daily chores like cooking, cleaning and washing clothes difficult. Even hygienic toilets become a luxury. 40-year-old Vandana Deviar, a housewife, tells us just how perilous these trips can be. It's a very long road, so you can't bring a small bottle in a small bottle. 15-20 लीटर के जो गैलन रहते हैं या बिस्लेरी के जो डब्बे बड़े-बड़े रहते हैं, वो हमको सर पे या ऐसे हाथ से उठा के लाना होता है। वो ऐसे एक-दो बार नहीं होता है, उसको लिए हमको सात-आठ बार लाएंगे तो हमको उतना पानी जो रोजमर्रा का जिंदगी में लगता है, वो हमें मिलेगा। मैं गिरी भी हू� या प्रेग्नेंट थी तो बहुत लंबा से वो गैलन उठा के लाना है तो स्लीप हो गया है ऐसा भी मेरे साथ हादसा हुआ है इट वाज इन द 19th सेंचुरी दैट रैपिड इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन एंड अ बूम इन टेक्सटाइल मिल्स मेड द सिटी अ कमर्शियल हब इन एडवर्टेंटली स्पर्रिंग लार्ज स्केल माइग्रेशन ऑफ पीपल फ्रॉम अदर सिटीज टाउन्स the shanties you see now have become iconic symbols of inequality in India's financial capital. Retired Deputy Municipal Commissioner Shrikant Arghadi tells us how failed housing policies seem to be at the core of water scarcity in these settlements. Municipal bylaws created in 1888 had not envisaged the existence of such slum communities and therefore did not address water supply to them. The problem was to curb, the, curb these unauthorized settlements or uh, unorganized settlements 
they had some uh, cut off dates cut off dates for the uh, slums so that after the 1980 uh, if any slums slum is coming up they are not eligible for water supply then that date was extended to 1985 and further to 1995 and then to 2001 after 2001 there was not no legitimacy for these uh, slums the absence of basic amenities like water and plumbing would make these settlements inhospitable and eventually non-existent, the authorities hoped. A presumption that proved counterproductive. They again depend on the uh, local water mafia or uh, water sellers in the slum settlements and they were used to buy the water or they used to temper the mains and water mains and get the water supply. Tempering of water mains uh, means uh, creation of the leak points and uh, these leak points uh, convert, uh, creates the problem of contamination. So that contamination, leakage, unauthorized tapping of the municipal main, these are all uh, goes hand in hand and this occurs due to this uh, not granting water supply. Pani Hak Samiti, a people's campaign for universal access to water, offers residents in water choked settlements a glimmer of hope. In 2012, the collective filed a public interest litigation in the Bombay High Court against a 1996 government circular that halted water infrastructure projects in slums. Two years later, the court upheld the citizens' right to water even in households deemed illegal. In 15th December 2014, we got a judgment. And this judgment has two major, uh, I think, the historic acceptance by the court or the directions by the court. One is water, right to water, is a precondition to right to the life with dignity. Number two, providing drinking water is the responsibility of the urban local government. Sita Ram Shellar, co-founder of Pani Hak Samiti, tells us that the collective's primary goal is to liaison between slum dwellers and officials at the municipal corporation of Greater Mumbai, like hydraulic engineers, for example. The 60 volunteers at Pani Hak Samiti, most of them residents of these settlements, also work to educate locals on their rights to clean water. We are training all these people how to apply for the form, uh, apply for the water connections, what are the documents requirement, and how we can proceed with the engineers, and then where to uh, pay the fees, and how to f uh, follow up on the application. Then these volunteers are helping not only to their own applications for the other applications in communities. Run by activists, volunteers and 21 non-profit organizations, Pani Hak Samiti has been instrumental in helping people in slum communities install legal tap connections. So far, it has helped 10,000 people gain access to piped water across suburbs like Govandi, Manpur, Ambujwari, Bandra and Santa Cruz. With their help, Vandana had applied for the legal gap connection for herself and five other families and successfully got one. So, they have understood that water is our right and our right. And if someone doesn't give us, we have to take a girl from BMC or from the government. There are many other people here. There is no water connection for people. And everyone wants their own water. My water is my light. This is my house. My own house should be my own house. So, water is my right. So, water is very important for everyone. I have to take a girl from the water from the water.
What adds to an already difficult situation is navigating a notoriously complex bureaucracy. Till today we filed around uh, 1,800 applications. It means uh, multiply by 5, around 9,000 families uh, applied for a water supply. 50% of them get rejected. The reasons for rejection could be said from residents unable to produce proper documentation to some not paying their utility bills on time. There are also those like Seshram Yadav who forgo hopes of a connection altogether because the process is too time consuming and tedious. According to him, only 20 from among 3,500 households in his locality of Bhimnagar have legal water connections. It is at these times that volunteers like Abrar Samani Formerly known as a पेपर हमने चार जन मिलके एक ही साथ पेपर सबमिट कर दिया सबमिट करने के बाद हमारा अब्रार भाई पेपर जहां तक उसने घुमाया फिराया जो भी किया उसने पूरा पोजीशन करने के बाद पैसा भरने को आया हमको लेके गया हम लोग वहां पैसा भरा आज हमारे घर पे कनेक्शन After spearheading the application effort for a group of five, Ismutara today feels empowered. जब भी मेरा पानी का जब भी ना लाया ना मैं बहुत खुश थी और मैं मतलब बहुत मुझे मतलब खुशी महसूस हो रहे थे कि क्योंकि मैं खुद भी वो नल के लिए मैं लड़ी हूँ और काम भी की हूँ और मेरा पानी या जरूरतमंद का जो चीज़ था वो मुझे मिल गए हैं Jai Mati, who has helped process around 400 water connections in settlements around Borivli, Goregao, Ray Road and Vadala, is proud of the improvement he sees in the mental and physical health of his community. पानी हक समिति के से जुड़ने के बाद मेरा जीवन जो है इंसानियत जो होता है ना इंसान के अंदर वो मेरे अंदर जाग गई है जिस तरीके से हम पानी के लिए आज तरस रहे हैं तो ऐसे दुनिया में बहुत लोग तरस रहे हैं बहुत लोग तकलीफ है अगर उनके इधर थोड़ा भी पानी पहुंच जाए तो उससे बड़ा सुकून तो मिल ही नहीं सकता Pani Hak Samiti has now obtained no objection certificates for piped water connections to 19,000 families living in informal settlements around the Mumbai Port Trust and around 50,000 families around Aray Colony. The road ahead looks bright for these residents thanks to a sustained collective effort.